1,500 meters, and Milena, here's the entry, Stemmy Lee Alec. I like Nathan Strum a lot from UC Davis. Ron Sheffield has such a great coaching style. He mentally prepares his athletes. But we also got to go with Anas Zahiri from CSUN. He's run very, very strong this year. Comes in with a 353-54 in the prelims. Meet record set back in 07, a 342-54 by Philip Reed. The conference record, of course, former great UC Irvine Annie or Steve Scott with a 336 and a record that has stood over 30 years. Steve Scott is a legend. Has run more sub four minute miles than anyone and just an all around great guy, a good friend of mine, a phenomenal coach at Cal State San Marcos. There goes the gun, and the men's 1,500 meters is off. So they have a clean break right here, Justin, with that waterfall start on the far side of the track as they head down the first straightaway. Seems like a little, they're being a little timid here. No one quite wants to take the lead yet. Now, this is not an uncommon racing style in a championship. You often see the first few laps go pretty slow, and then someone says, I'm getting tired of this pace, I'm going to pick it up. You'll notice the green and white presence of the Cal State, or excuse me, the San Luis Obispo Mustang Distance crew. You and I had a chance this morning at breakfast to talk to a few of them, didn't we, Justin? We did. There you see the Mustangs mixed into just a tight pack all the way through as it appears Cody Jordan with hit number four at UC Riverside. Going to be the guy to take the lead into the first turn. And you know, it's interesting having time to talk with different distance runners. And we talked about the... The, the time and how it certainly gets affected. They just said, hey, it's a championship. Nobody wants to be the lead dog and use all the energy in a couple races, and then there, one never emerges. Exactly, exactly. That's why in championship races, you'll often see, like I said, those first couple laps pretty slow as we see the men starting to pick up the pace. And we have quite a few blue and gold uniforms out there as well, representing Santa Barbara, as well as Riverside, Northridge. Lots of athletes out here that are looking to run a great time, but that may not happen today given the fact that it is a championship and nobody really quite wants to go for it yet. Bryce Rousa out of UC Santa Barbara, a senior. Mixing it in along with Anas Zuri. Ruby Jordan is still the leader at the bell as we get close to two laps left in the men's 1,500 meters. Still could be anybody's race as the package is extremely tight in the departure. No one has yet to make a move. Now, I want to mention Mark Conover, a fantastic distance coach at San Luis Obispo. He has quite many years of experiencing, experience excuse me, coaching middle distance as well as distance runners. So I know he's got his crew prepared, and perhaps there are some team tactics going on to get the most points possible. Don't forget, not only are these individual races going on, but there's a team title in contention as well. In the back stretch, they come into turn number three, and now we start to see some separation coming in as they approach just about 500 meters left at this 1,500 meter race. Elena, how long is too long to wait for your final pick? Uh, it depends on the race, Justin, and this is a really tight pack. It could get tricky in here with this many athletes running this fast. Now we have hip number seven, Clayton Hutchins from Cal Poly. said, I've had enough of this. I'm going to try to break open this pack, but he's being challenged. This is anyone's race coming up to the final 300 meters. With 1,200 to go, Anas Zuri says, come catch me. He just made a huge break. Anas Zuri from Cal State in Northridge, the junior, has just opened up approximately 1,500 meter deep. is not about to relinquish it. In, in fact, he is extending that lead right now as he approaches the home stretch, Justin. His preliminary qualifying time was 353.54. And he is on pace to potentially break that as it is his race to lose. He checks back over his shoulder as he tries to hold on. And he is going to take home the 1,500 meter championship. Followed closely by Bryce Rouse of Santa Barbara. Nathan Strum 
in lane number one from UC Davis will take third in the men's 1500 meters. But Anas Zuri, the junior out of Cal State Northridge, we talked about him when he set up the race and he did not disappoint Milena. And we take a look right here when he just put the pedals to the metal. He absolutely did. He did it with force. That is one of the most demanding leads in a short amount of time. I've seen a 1,500 meter athlete make in a long time. He was confident. He knew what his game plan going into this was. And he said, I've got, I've got to break it open right now. Now at the end, as we see right here, he was struggling a little bit. Look at his face. There's some tension. He looked back several times, wanted to see where second place was. Bryce Rousa from Santa Barbara approaching, but not fast enough to close on a Nasuri and take a title away from him. 350-370, good enough for a Nasuri to win the men's 1500. 344-22 for Bryce Rousa.